This is Jody. She is the oldest. And, and, and Gloria and I will remark that you can always tell the oldest kid, this kid takes charge. She was the nurse there for uh, Joey for the last uh, uh, four months. She was, she was there day and night. And all the kids were there, but, but this kid was there uh, sleeping all night and, and doing what she could do. Jody, the oldest one, you take over. Is this tall enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> well, when Mr. Gaither called me the other night, um, he said, I'd like for you to come up and talk about Joey. And I thought, what in the world would I say about Joey that you hadn't already heard of? Um, Rory's blogs have captivated so many people. And um, he shared their lives and their love story. And so I thought, you know, what in the world can I say that would be different? Um, I was fortunate to witness this kind of love and sacrifice for almost five months. When Joey came home to Indiana to visit the farmhouse and our family back in October, she was only planning to stay for four or five days. And during those days, we, my sisters, my mom and my dad, we all took off work to spend time with her and to just really um, try to take in every minute we could and also understand the severity of her diagnosis. Towards the end of her visit, Joey asked Rory if they could stay here, and then she turned to me, and she asked if I would take care of her and be her nurse. For those of you who do not know, I am a registered nurse, and I have been in an administrative role for the last several years at a hospital nearby. So without much consideration, I said, of course, and I took a leave of absence, I packed a bag, and I moved to Ellick for what I thought and what we thought would just be a couple weeks. I think my teenage kids, Cody and Macy, were really glad I was gone. <laughs> it was during this time that Joey and I really reconnected on the years lost. Because we shared a bedroom for the last several months of her life, we told stories about our childhood. We spent hours, sometimes talking till 3 a.m. about our families, our personal struggles, our fears, our weaknesses. We also talked about our greatest satisfactions and what marks we want to leave and make in this world. We cried about the day we lost our brother. and how his death affected us in similar but different ways. For me, I started a family here. Joey, she moved to Nashville. But the thing we talked most was love. The love she shared for our Savior, Jesus Christ, and how important it is for her girls to know him, trust him, and follow him. The love she had for Rory and her family. How she loved taking care and providing for them through cooking, raising chickens, having a garden. As for me, I learned more about paleo diet, which I hate, <laughs> essential oils, and living off the land, organic style. The love she had for mom and dad and her three sisters and their families. And how after she gave birth to Indiana, she found and understand a different kind of love and sacrifice. The love she had for her career path and her fans, and even though this last year she was very weak, it was important to her that she still sing and witness to people. I will forever be thankful for the past five months. Joey's has taught me so much about myself. I never saw. About love, about living, and about sacrifice. So thank you, Rory, for allowing Joey to stay here and Alec. Thank you, Cody and Macy, for allowing me to take care of Joey and the sacrifice you two have given. Thank you to Bill and Gloria for allowing us to provide a home for us to live in. And thank you, community, for loving us, supporting us, and showing compassion to our family. And as this grieving process continues for the rest of our lives, I will continue to praise and trust Jesus 
live life to its fullest and leave my mark. And one day, I will be reunited with both Joey and Justin.